I'm in the hub of our newsroom to bring you the latest information on this winter storm and the bitter cold outside. By far the biggest story that we're following right now. Two little children abandoned on the side of the road after their mother's car was stolen from a gas station in Clayton County. A one-month-old and a four-year-old both left to fend for themselves with temperatures in the low to mid-20s, the wind chill in single digits. Faith Abube was there as we learned that the children had been found. She's live at Children's Hospital tonight. Faith, you can get frostbite for being outside for just 30 minutes. How are those children doing tonight? You know, thankfully, they are okay. Fortunately, both of them are with their mother tonight. The one-month-old was transferred here from Southern Regional Hospital, and in just the last 15 minutes, the family sent us a video of that baby who was rescued this afternoon from her hospital room, and in that video, you see the baby being fed, but also being monitored by doctors, and this video just coming in just in the last 15 minutes. Right now, it's unclear how long that child was out there in the element alone in her car seats by the roadside in these brutal temperatures. But take a look. It took more than two hours for officers to find that child and her sister who were abducted in that stolen car. Uh, we were there when her mother found out that she had been found. I'm joy, I'm happy. I don't care about the car. I'm happy that I can go get my daughter. And I'm, I, I'm just praying that everything is okay and she'll be fine. You know, the baby's four-year-old sister was found much earlier in the night, about half a mile down the road from that quick trip gas station where they were taken. Georgia State University Police Chief Joseph Spillane was on his way to the airport when he randomly saw a child walking in the middle of the road. It was really surreal because I, I, I didn't think I saw what I was seeing because it's this very small child and cars are trying to avoid her on the icy patch of, of Riverdale Road. But she was more worried really about her little sister. She said, somebody stole my mom's truck and my little sister's still inside it. And that really made me uh, very concerned. She was crying. She was very upset. Well, tonight, uh, the police chief telling us he called 911, and that's when he found out that the child was missing along with her sister, Vinny. All right, Faith, let's back this up a little bit now. So how were they able to steal the car and the children? So the mom tells us that she was just trying to keep the children warm. She pulled up to the Quick Trick gas station to fill up her tank. She left the car running with the children inside and then went inside the gas station, um, the convenience store to pay for her gas. And as she was walking out, she saw a man driving off with her car and her children inside. And uh, we have a map to put all of this into perspective for you. You can see where the first child, the four year old was found about half a mile away. And then you see where the baby, the one month old was found later. And you also see where the car was later abandoned. And tonight, Police only have a vague description of that suspect, but they do have surveillance video from that quick trip, and they are working to identify who or how many people it took to pull this off, Vinny. All right, amazing that those children are okay tonight. Thanks so much, Faith. Appreciate it. Let's send things over now to Chief Meteorologist Chris Hart.